So I was thinking about what am I going to talk about today? And I always am looking for inspiration. I'm always looking for ways to stay plugged in energetically, spiritually, intellectually, culturally, right? To feel alive and be truly connected to the mojo love. And as I was going through today, it's been a super busy week, busy day, realizing I've created quite an ambitious first quarter. What's going on with your first quarter? <laughs> How are your plans? How are your goals? How are your dreams? Um, and as I was uh, considering today, you know, what was today's live going to be? Because by the way, everybody, I am Deborah Kagan, your Mojo Recovery Specialist. And what this is, is this new experiment that I've got going on where I'm bringing you alive once a day this entire 365. So it's live, this 365. And if you are here live, welcome. It's so nice to see all of you popping on. And for those of you catching the replay, I'm really glad that you are also tuning in. And I, like I said, each day I'm considering what is going to provide you with a bit of inspiration, information, some tools, some tips, just helping you to turn on, turn on your inner light, like turn on the mojo in your world. And, um, you know, it has been a fantastic day. It's been a long day. Lots of things happening over at Mojo Central. And I realized, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to some of the basics today. And I would love to share with you one of the ways that it's so simple, super, super simple, that I stay inspired and keep myself spiritually plugged in. Um, and I... I'm very interested to know because by the way, these, these, these lives are definitely about connecting with you. So do comment, share with me some of your ways that you stay inspired and share with me some of the ways that you stay spiritually plugged in, right? Cause it's about us as a collective. And, um, and so, you know, would love to be inspired by you as well. And I think the whole thing, by the way, about staying inspired and staying spiritually plugged in, in my experience, when, you know, there's lots of doing um, and you're filled with simply doing this task, next task, you know, to-do list, projects, uh, constant go, 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 go. It's very challenging to be in it, literally be. There's a whole difference between doing and being. And I talk about this a lot. I talk about this at my Rock Your Mojo Women's Weekend. I talk about this with the women that I mentor over the course of the year through the Rock Your Mojo Mentorship. And we talk about this formula, which is the antithesis to that which we are taught in life, right? We are taught to do a bunch of shit so we can have a bunch of shit and then we can be happy. That's a totally incorrect formula. You see, because the actual true formula is first be, like literally who are you being? So be the way that you are desiring and that will shift the actions that you take, the doing, which will then provide you with the having of the stuff and the people and the experiences that you really want. That's going back to being aligned with who you're being. Hello, Tim Gillette, nice to see you. And Patrick and Tom and Les and John and Mario, hello. <laughs> right, so I think it's, at least I know in my experience, when there's a lot of doing going on, it can like kind of siphon you away from who you're being. And today was one of those days where I was like, you know what, damn, I am feeling pretty freaking, I'm feeling a little wiped out. And, and, and the live needs to happen because I am committed. I'm committed to you. I'm committed to doing this live 365. And, you know, when you commit to something and you say you're going to do it, do what you say you're going to do the way you said you were going to do it. Right. All right. So this is one of the simple things. I was like, I'm feeling, feeling a little tired today. And, uh, and I wanted to make sure that there was something of value. And what I realized is my, my intuition and my whole kind of 
um, energy level was pulling me towards this one book. And I go to this book for inspiration all the time. I love this book. Um, you can use really not any book, but uh, books of, of this, this nature. But here's what I do. So the book that I always go to is this book by uh, Hafiz, a Sufi poet, way back in the day, 1600s. Um, and it's called The Gift, because you, everybody out there, you're a gift. You're the gift. So I go to this book, and what I'll do is I just kind of shift the pages like this, right? And I'll see where I land. And I did that right before I got on the live, and it was open, open to this page. So I want to share with you the, uh, and this is Hafiz wrote poetry, um, very much all about connecting with God, higher spirit, you know, Hafiz used the word God, whatever you relate to, that's really what he's, uh, you know, that, that, that all knowing spirit, energy, universe. So I wanted to throw you, uh, I wanted to throw you, I want to share with you what, uh, what came up because this, I was like, if it, if this is what's opened for uh, inspiration, in terms of what was gonna be good for me to read tonight, I thought it was gonna be a good thing to share with you, right? And this one that it opened to is called Throw Me on a Scale. And the first line kind <laughs> of goes perfectly here with the sweatshirt I'm wearing today. So uh, here we go, Throw Me on a Scale. Today, love has completely gutted me. I'm lying in the market like a filleted grouper speechless, every desire and sinew absolutely silent, but I am still so fresh. Everything is now the same to me. Listen, the touch of a beautiful woman as she lifts me near, drawing my scent into her body. She thinks about taking me home. The touch of a wondrous fly drinking my vital fluids through a strange shaped flute. The sun laying its radiant gaze against my cheek, human voices and the breeze from a passing horse's tail all send miraculous currents into my world. God's beauty has split me wide open. Throw Hafiz on a scale, wrap me in a cloth, bring me home. Lift a piece of my knowledge to your lips so I can melt inside of you and sing. That's Hafiz, everybody, from The Gift. So this is it. This is the incredibly simple way. Like when I'm feeling I need a little inspiration, we'll just go like this and see what page we open up on. And that's that. And I love that one from today. It's like... Remember to love, remember to share yourself, remember to, you know, really remember to be inspired, like be that inspiration and then share it with others, like tap into your higher power, find the things that inspire you, utilize them and make a difference in your world because fill your cup first and then you can live in a place of overflow. That's today's mojo moment. And make sure that you let me know what does keep you inspired. Comment below. Let me know what keeps you inspired, what keeps you spiritually plugged in. These are vitally important things in all of our lives. So let me know. And, uh, and I trust you are all doing well out there. I'm sending you lots of love because I love you. And as I say, it's not in a weird way. Not in a weird way. I really love you in the best way possible. All right, everybody. Deborah Kagan, your Mojo Recovery Specialist, signing off for right now. And I will see you tomorrow because this is the game. It's live every day, 365 this year. Bye for now.